Welcome to VL Academy. In this video, we will see the final accounts and the adjustments in the final Income received in advance. Same example, we have a customer who has a repair of the machinery. We have a repair of the machinery, but we have a cost to receive the cost. Such income is called income received in advance. Normal income is the profit and loss account in the credit side. So, if we have a service, we cannot take the entire ownership of that money. In case we can repair the money, we can take the money to the money. So, we can take the full-fledged income. So, what do we do? In the credit side, in the concern income, we can take the income received in advance less money. And also, in the balance sheet, the liability side. Journal entry is the income account data to income received in advance account. So, we can take the money to the money, so that amount is with us. That's why the amount of income is considered. Income is debited. And also it has to be taken out to the income received in advance account. So that's why we do the income received in advance. We credit the income. Depreciation. We have asset value. We have to increase the value. So we have to increase the value. So we have to increase the value. So we have to increase the value. So, if we have a little bit of money, we will get a profit and loss account in the debit side. Why? This is our cost. We will get a cost. So, we will get a debit side. If you have a balance sheet, we will get an asset side. So, in that asset, we will get a little bit of money. We will get a depreciated value. Okay? And if you have a journal entry, we will get a depreciation account data to asset account. And the IR bank is going to depreciation account to pull up. So depreciation has been debited. And that 1000 rupees has to come out of that asset value. Patta IR bank and the IR bank will come out of it. Okay. So that's why we have to credit that asset. Next one is interest on capital. Interest on capital, Abdina, I don't think, investors are going to business ला कास्ट पोड़ रहा हूँ, so business वंदे अंदर investor को नम्मा तेरपी कोड़ कुनो, कड़न आधा वांगेर को capital उनका रपेर ला, so अंदर capital को नामो ओरे बढ़ी कटो, that is interest, अंदर interest अदा नामो interest on capital अब डिंग रो, अद वंदे उनके एवलो invest पन आंगलो अद लंदे certain percentage आंगले को नम्मा कोड़ पो, so इधे नम्मा को business लंदे सेले वदा अब डिंग रो दनाले, � and balance sheet ले liability side नाम है capital है mention पन हुआ है ना capital हूँ investors कर हम खुद के वैंडी कास है so it is a liability so अदले इन the interest on capital यूँ add पन हुआ okay next journal entry पातिंग ना we have one of the golden rules that is debit the increase in expenses सेलवगल आदि का माच ना आदे debit पन हुआ and credit the increase in capital capital increase आगे द अब ये ना आदे credit पन हुआ so in that case now my interest on capital level the debit fund room and capital level the credit fund room is interest on drawings drawings of the knowledge investors when the business look as putter conga so other no dear or email on in a panel a business lender conja amount download personal use kaga edukranga of dinner that is called drawings a pretty edica kodia kasika of a business interest pay panel if you pay for a certain percentage, you will pay for a certain percentage. Until you get it, you will pay for it. So, this is a business income. So, the interest will come from the business. So, that's why we will pay for the profit and loss account. And it is deducted from the capital account. Because the capital decreases. If you pay for all the cash, you will pay for the capital. So, that's why if you have the amount, you can get less than the amount of capital. And the journal entry which is vice versa for interest on capital. That is capital account data to interest on drawings. If the capital decrease, you can get the debit. And interest on drawings which is income to us, you can get the credit. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe. Thank you once again.